There we go, baby. Go gingers, yo gingers, go. Go gingers, go gingers, go. This is my ugly sweater. Welcome to the party, everybody. We are here talking about equipment today in our newly improved. I don't know. I'm constantly changing things here in the studio, but this is Jeremiah's. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with JMSB's coming to you live and direct from our brand new world headquarters in the same spot, but we're constantly improving. And we wanted to share some of the things that we've learned along the way with you because we know that some of you did spend a little money. Let's go. Right? Spend a little money on Cyber Monday or Black Friday or whatever. Uh, I was talking to somebody yesterday and she's had equipment for six months and it's been sitting there because she didn't know where to get started. So that's my goal today is to kind of help you. And, and what I will say is that Every single situation is different. There we go. I had to fix my, I had to fix my, uh, my fade level. But uh, oh, look at this! This is hilarious. So I have green, I have green stripes in my shirt. <laughs> I can't even. Uh, so I, as we're getting started, please just post, you know, where you're from, uh, where you're watching from today. Uh, do you have a studio set up? Do you want to set up a studio? Do you just want to get better with video? It doesn't matter where you are. It just matters where you're going, right? So let me get my... I'll wait for you to post. There we go. Oh, we got top of owners in the building. Let me take, take it off, baby, because I believe... Look, I got more green. Oh, no, I got a hole. Oh, oh. I always forget when you wear Christmas stuff and you have a green screen, part of you will be missing. That's a fact, Jack. All right. So, um, all right. We got Mary St. George from Pang Yam. We got Billy P from Billings. Uh, Todd Bavona, he is with Gotham Trinity Studios. Did I get that right? In Staten Island, New York. This coffee's for you. Oh, Cliffwood. Cliffwood, New Jersey. I'm not building you a studio. You already got a studio. All right. So I think put your questions in the chat and then I'm just going to start breaking it down uh, because I did a lot of things uh, in the last two weeks as far as uh, changing things up. Even this morning when I came in, I'm like, you know what? I don't like a couple of things. Let's try this. Let's do the live stream. Let's see how it goes. And then I'm going to, you know, post game, wrap up, evaluate uh, how that went and how I can make it better. Why does that look like blue sky? And I'm so easily distracted too because I'll let me give you the behind the scenes look. Okay, let's go behind the scenes. Here we are behind the scenes. So let's just get right into it as as we have questions. Um, you have I'm um, picture in picture in the corner there, right? So that's what you would see. And if you want me to make that bigger. I can, I'll just go like this, yep. make that a little bigger, give you a better idea what's going on here. So this is the table that I bought uh, on Cyber Monday, only 200 bucks, well actually $189.97. Uh, when it came, there was a lot of pieces, well what I thought was a lot of pieces, and uh, it sat for three days because I was like, shit, I don't, I don't want to put that together. Putting things together is not my favorite thing to do, okay? And so, but then yesterday I was like, I can't not do my live stream tomorrow without my new desk. It's like a new toy that you want to play with. So I'm going to step away from the mic for a second just to kind of demonstrate this. Let's see. Boom, you saw that push of a button, push of a button, and it went down. I'm going to bring it back up. Let's see which one is my up button. There we go. Make sure I don't hit my other microphone. So that's pretty sweet in itself, right? So if you, uh, part of my challenge all the time is like every once in a while for a broadcast, I might sit down. And so it's a pain in the ass and that's why I hardly ever sit down because to adjust your setup to sit down, it's a pain in the butt, right? 
And so today, just this morning, so you see these two lights here, right? These are two, you got a key and a fill. And Todd, you're a video guy. Feel free to chime in um, as you see fit. Just adjust my volume over here. So these two lights here were actually further down. And if I change the zoom of what you see, let me see if I can show you this. Yeah. Okay, so you see this on that left hand. I actually just screwed that into my desk. That is where the lights used to be on each side. So there were about, I think that's six feet across rather than my desk currently, now that I'm using is four feet across. And I found the need at that point to fill in the middle with a ring light because we were so far apart that if you look at how light, you know, the light paths are crossing, I would have like a shadow here in the middle. And any person that does anything with lighting will tell you everybody's different, everybody's complexion is different, all your lighting is different uh, in your office or at your home or wherever you plan to do this. Uh, let me just fix this a little bit more like that. And I actually don't even, the lights are off in my office currently. If I turn them on, you'd see how bad this looks. See how fluorescent, if I go back to the, the single overlay, hold on. See this? Look at how yellow and like, how crazy that is. That's because this fluorescent light is right over my head. If I go backwards, if I went a little bit forwards, it would create an off. Oh, look, see? All of a sudden, I got like shadows under my eyes. All things you don't want. So I will say it is a guess and check method. Um, let me go back to behind the scenes again. Boop. Give you guys an idea. However, you can see that this is, they're both at like a 45 degrees. For those of you that wear glasses, again, this is, you got to kind of play with this. I wore glasses last week in my broadcast because my eyes were killing me because I wore contacts for too long. Um, my triple play. But um but I wore contacts and so I went a little bit higher up and then more of an angle so that they weren't reflecting directly on my glasses. The light was coming down more and, and it worked. We didn't have much of a, much of a shadow at all. Now, the issue that I have when I do this in the dark is that, uh, when I want to go to my whiteboard, Dude, I, yo, I'm rotating the microphone around. This is gangster. All right. So let me fix this camera here. Zoom, autofocus. Come on. Stay with me. Okay. There we go. So when I come over here, you can see like this is in the dark. And there's some kind of reflection that I don't know where it's coming from. Let me see if I use my ring light over here, if this might help. That's creating a shadow. Whoa, there we go. Nope, see the ring light? If we go down a little bit. No, not at all. But let me see if I do it that way. Nope. All right, so we're going to do it with it off. It's amazing the shadows that you don't even realize you don't even know how they're created but that looks like shit um but i will again this is just for demonstration purposes there we go zoom in we got the microphone there so let's say if this was your desk and i'm saying desk because most of you are going to stay in that in that field of view with one camera um and so if you have light here light here at a 45 and at a 45. And then what um, other lighting experts would tell you is that you might have a third light over here. If this is you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm so good at art. Um, 
I miss, this is what they call a hair light. Key fill. So this one here, depending on, on like, you all feel you, you have a, a better side. Hold on, let me turn this up just a little bit. There we go. Um, one is brighter than the other. Not too bright, because then you're overexposed, and you're, that's where you see people that they look like a, like a saint. So that's your key light. That comes in, you just start high and just keep lowering, 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 lowering. And for somebody like myself that has freckles, like keep lowering until you can see the freckles. Then you know that um, there are you know, details on your face. And then the other one's going to be a little bit lower than that. Just lower it and keep lowering it till you, it looks good, but you don't have too many shadows. It creates like a little contour to your face. And then the hair light, they call it the hair light just because of that. It, it highlights the back of you and it helps to separate you uh, from the background. Now for me, I have three, it's like eight feet. This is probably eight feet. But at the very least, I would say you want at least four feet between your desk and your wall. Some of you are like pressed up against the wall with a green screen and you wonder why it looks like crap. It's because you're just too close. It's hard to separate you from the background. Okay. All right. We're going to come back over here. Uh, any questions on that so far? Just dropping all this knowledge, drawing pictures. Dude, that looks like, hold on, I'm going to come back over here again. Um, you know, I was an artist as well as a singer, songwriter. All right, so you can see how, there's your lighting sitch. Um, behind the scenes here, you could see the lights that I have, they're on my list. So if you, you send us the keyword equipment, you're going to get our list as well as the link to go to our Amazon storefront, jmanazon.com. We'll take you right to the storefront. But these are the Vajim. Vajim! That sounds that's very risky to say. Right? Yeah, pretty sure. Um, so these are actually... You have to plug them in, but they have rechargeable batteries as well. So right now I was like, let me see what happens if I just don't plug it in. See if the light dies in the middle of my broadcast. That could happen. Who knows? Okay. Now, if I turn those off, because some of you only have a ring light, so I don't, I don't want to show you just the better things. But here's the difference. So these are cheaper. These are like middle of the, of the, of the other ones that, that are on the list, the Elgato's, the Elgato, uh, key lights, I can, or you can control them with your phone or even with the stream deck that you see here. Okay. So I'm going to shut off these lights and then we're going to see what the ring light looks like. All right, so ideally I would put the ring light higher, but because of where my camera is currently, it's going to block the camera. But if I brought it in, see how that's going to... Let me light back just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Brighten up the light. So now if I go back to my single overlay screen here... Mm. It, it, it would get better if I move where the light is. Right now it's coming down from me a little bit lower, and that's what's creating the shadow, especially with the, the microphone. See what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean, Franks? Okay. Okay, so you can see that uh, oh, it looks orange. See how orange, so the, the warmth on, on the ring light, you have three settings. It's like cool white, bright white, I think they call it, or like I call it, um, 
What's her name from Jersey Shore? Orange. Super orange. And just so you know what my settings are, I currently have it set on, this one's on 23%, let me make sure. 22%, 4,000K. And my other one's at 17%. So if I made them super bright, you could see how I would get totally, watch this. That's 100%. Jesus, I'd be blind, first of all. Look at this. Hey, guys, I got a new light. I'm, like, super bright. Look at this. And it creates a shadow. But you see how now the... Yeah, still too bright. All right, folks, I went to 25 and that's 17. So uh, I guess we don't have any questions today or maybe because I'm using Restream, I can't really see the questions. Let me see the live chat. Overview, live chat. Oh, where did you get it? Uh, so uh, Mary, what do you mean? Where did I get what? So I got the table on... Everything I get is on Amazon, and it's on. So if you send us the keyword equipment or if you go to equipment.jmanseminars.com, you will get our entire list plus our Amazon storefront where you just have to click the link, go through it, and, and buy the stuff. We make a tiny commission on that. I don't know. It might be a dollar per hundred dollars that you spent <laughs> or something, but it's a great way to kind of keep it organized uh, with all the stuff that we recommend. All right, so that's... The lights. I feel, I feel like I, I wanted to spend a lot of time on that just because it's. I feel like it's that important and I feel like it's something that you really need to guess and check and, and be precise. And um, I think I saw that in, in the comments here. Um, so you think we should be eight feet away from our green screen? So Jeffrey, you don't have to be. I just like having the space. I think you're a lot like I am where you, you're a walk and talker, um, but at least four feet. I like eight feet because it gives me the space, right? If I go back here, you could see like it's eight feet to my computer to, or to the front of this desk. So I have two feet here and then I have another two feet and then three feet. So it, it, it provides depth. So if I want to do like there's been times where I'm a virtual MC for stuff and I actually have like a virtual stage that I'm walking around. So it gives me that front and back kind of emotion. So if, if you are an instructor, if you're doing anything kind of uh, virtually, I would say having the, de it's better to have the depth and not use it all the time because when you do use it, then people are like, damn, you got a studio or something. And you're like, hell yeah. That's why you pay me the big bucks. Right. Okay. Um, oh, the table. How about I see the mics? All right, so let's do the mics next. Mic check one, two, one, two. I'm going to show you the difference between the different microphones. Okay, so this is our our latest lovely. It is the uh, Shure MB7. Again, you'll find this on the list. Uh, this was, and this is what one of the things that really bothers me. It, it was on sale for Cyber Monday, and then it was still on sale. So still the same freaking price for those of you who didn't pull the trigger. I get sold by sales, and I was like, I have to. It won't be available then, you know, later on. And so I bought it. And so far, I just adjust this a little bit like this, make it more podcaster-esque. Um, <clears throat> so you guys saw me with this one for the last year and a half. Right. This so that's the Sure MV7. This is the Audio Technica. Uh, it's the AVX something or other. Also on the list. This one's on sale for eighty nine dollars. If you're looking for an entry level mic that's really great that you won't have any issues with, this is it. 
plug and play. Okay. Um, if you're looking to kind of upgrade or you're going to have people in the studio with you, um, this might be better or even the blue Yeti, uh, that you see on, it, it'll also be on the list. There'll be three options for you. This would be good. The blue Yeti will be better. And then the sure will be best, um, in the lower than $250 price point, right? You could spend a thousand dollars on a microphone, but unless you guys are recording artists or doing stuff at a, on a pro level, it's not necessary. Don't go crazy. I know sometimes in real estate, we want to spend money because we think it's better and it's not always the case. Now, you see this before I get into the uh, demonstrating the actual microphones, but you see these boom arms, right? These really don't serve a purpose. You don't need them. What it does is it adds a cool factor, right? Like if like if I was doing a podcast and you you scroll past and you're like, I'm like, well, you know, anybody who's got this arm, you automatically like legit, legit, right? Uh, so I could though, the big difference between this one and my other one is that when I do stuff virtually, I could have this mic off camera and it's still going to work. It's, it's, it's. I can turn it up enough. Like right now it's set up where I don't have to be that close. I'm about 12 inches away and I'm looking at the levels and the levels are still good because I have it turned up that high. If I went too close, it would peak, but I already have like a, a peak level um, starting out. And when I say peak, that's when you hear that distortion when somebody's super loud. Um, you don't like that. So if I were to rank importance of what I, I'm going to buy or what you need to implement into your studio or your online videos or whatever it is, I would start with the microphone because people can put up with subpar video. Like if your lighting's not right, as long as you don't look really jacked up, um, I would say start with the microphone so you can have a pleasing sounding voice. Not that my voice is the most pleasing, but I'm gonna switch it here in a second and you'll see the difference. Okay, first. Here's the MacBook Pro microphone, everybody. How do you think that sounds? Okay, that's uh, you spend three thousand dollars on a computer, and you get a crappy microphone like that. Uh, oh, Michelle. So if yeah, if you don't want the mic scene, you can just have it off camera. You just have to kind of turn up your gains a little bit. Um, and the the Shure actually has a, a a setting, an auto setting for those of you who don't want to like dial it in. It says it'll say um, how close is it? You say it's further away. 12 to 18 inches away I could take this I could put it off camera below me and then or off camera this way and it would be fine okay uh, no problem it's just an individual part you know personal preference kind of a thing but you see now that that's the MacBook Pro I forgot I even had it on there's been times okay because the production software that I use uh, that I, I did a whole broadcast on the MacBook Pro and then I had to get rid of the video after because the audio was awful. Because sometimes I talk loud. And when I talk loud, it's going to peak. It's going to get distorted. And it's not going to be great. Okay, so that's the MacBook Pro. Next. Mic check one, two, one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeremiah's J Man Monero. Welcome to the greatest show on earth. The Kirk Road Circus. This is the Audio Technica. This is one I've been using for 20 months since March. I bought this in April of 2020. As soon as the pandemic hit, um, it was one of the only ones I could find in stock that was pretty, pretty well rated. Um, and this is a cardioid. So the, the way it picks up the sound is at the tip of the microphone. Okay. So if you have a lot of background noise, you have HVAC, you got your, your fan from your computer that kicks on. You got the landscaping guy that always comes in the middle of the day when you're trying to do video. All those things affect sound quality. Um, I can remember I did a commercial for a company once, a mortgage company, and they did it at my house, and they even unplugged my fridge. Like unplugged my fridge, unplugged the fan, turned off the HVAC. All those things can really affect high-quality sound. So the cardioid here, if I go like this, you can see there's a big difference in how well you hear me because I'm not speaking to the end of the microphone. Big difference, even though it's six inches apart, six inches away, 12 inches away. Now I'm speaking to the end. You hear how it sounds different. Okay. Uh, I do like this because if you're somebody who is a speaker and you're doing it often, this helped me to stay used to holding a microphone. It's a skill. 
it's something you got to stay used to. Then it's the other reason why I stayed standing up for the last two years. Okay. Because this is endurance, standing up and, and, and walking and talking in front of people for hours. If you didn't do that during the pandemic and then when you went and get back on the road, your feet were hurting or mine were like, let's go, let's go. It went like this. And now we're back to the shore MV7, baby. Um, so do you guys hear a difference between the, the three? I would hope so. Yeah, the background noise with the Mac is tremendous, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and he, wait, I'll give you one more. I'm going to give you one more for those folks that say, oh, my webcam that I got, we recommend the Logitech uh, C920. It's a decent camera. So I'm going to switch over to the whiteboard again, and then I'm going to switch to that camera's microphone. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about the sound of this mic? Mic, microphone, no bueno, or microphone, si bueno. No bueno, si bueno. Da, 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 da. Now I'm coming back to the show. Let me come back here. Okay. All right, uh, so you heard the difference in a bucket sound, right? So we, yeah, we'd, it's, it sounds like hollow, or I like to say tinny is a word you might hear where it's like, I can tell. If I hop on with somebody and we're going to do a live stream, I'm like, yo, you, you don't have the right mic on because it's, it's different. It's a different sound. And what I'm going to do is actually take that clip of those microphones, and I'm going to use that. I'm going to repurpose that in a separate video of like what mics to get. Uh, because I feel it's, that's always the question. The other one, which I don't have hooked up, are my AirPods. Uh, but you've heard AirPods enough that I don't really need to demonstrate that. That's my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate like fall fallback. If everything else breaks or runs out of battery or whatever, I'm going to use I'm going to use the AirPods. All right, let me check here. No bueno, no bueno. All oh, you guys, look at you. You guys are like, uh, you know, <laughs> bilingual. That's what I'm going to say. Um, do we have any? Thank you, Sylvia. Standing up is endurance. Absolutely. All right. So we talked about lights. We talked about microphones. Now should we talk about cameras? Yes. Put it in the chat. Um, I'm going to say I'm probably not going to use Restream next time because the chat doesn't populate over to my, to my software, so I can't bring you guys up on the screen. But you could see, if you're looking at my setup now again, um, let me just drag this over just a little bit. All right. So you see, like, this is my software over here on that screen. This is where I can do all of the things. Um, let me do, do I have a bot gallery overlay equipment? I'm going to add something. Hold on. I'm going to add the equipment QR code equipment. Oh, bitch. Hold up. All right. Speaker bot, QR code. I got QR codes for days, as you can see. I'm trying to find the right one. Quick look. Nope. That's not it. Oh, here it is. Try this. Okay. Um, move this sound effects over here, and I'm going to hit open. Boom! Look at that. Hit you with the equipment QR code. So if I go like this, I bring it. You can see now it's on screen. If you scan that, that's going to bring you over to, again, that'll take you directly to Messenger. I'll keep it up for a second and get you over to our equipment list. But time after time, if you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. I don't know why that came into my head, but I sing as I go. I almost exited out the camera. All right, so that's the production software. This is actually an output over here that shows me what you guys see. And then in the, mid, in the middle, 
I have Restream, which is the program that we're using. But normally, if I have, if I want to share my screen and show you guys something, I would have that in the middle. So I have it all. Um, now, a couple changes I will make after today because I didn't need to do this before is I have a keyboard here that's wired, and it's because I was wasn't too far from my my computer, my MacBook at the time, and I have a, a mouse that's also wired. I'm going to get rid of both of those and just go Bluetooth, and then I'm going to keep them in the handy dandy drawer. That's right. All right, so let's talk about the cameras. You can see if I go back to the single overlay, here is my crispy, so crispy, hold up, uh, my Sony A4100, 5100. Um, but Michelle, I know I was talking to Michelle, no sound. Oh, um, so the, the software is called <laughs> Ecamm. The software is called Ecamm. And then the, if, if you have a Windows, if you're a Windows user, it's called vMix. But it, I will say it's a little bit more advanced. It took me at least a week or two of a lot of YouTube tutorials from a guy from the UK to learn it. But if you're going to do this, I feel like it's so important to, uh, for it to be hard. Because like nobody said it was going to be easy. We just said it would be worth it so that when you're done with it all, people can go, wow, that's a nice setup. I can see now why you charge so much for a virtual presentation. Or even if you're not in, you know, an instructor, speaker, trainer, like if you're in real estate and you hop on a Zoom with your client, they're going to go, damn, that's a nice setup. And you're like, well, we provide better service to the mastery of today's technology. That's what we do. Okay. Um, let's see. Your studio said to do with software. No bueno, no bueno. Okay. So that's the first camera. I think maybe what I'll do is I'm going to add some overlays here to give you guys the cameras at the same time so you can see how bad they are side by side. This is the FaceTime camera that comes built in that I'm overlaying right now. I'm going to make this a squircle. Okay, that's the FaceTime one. Uh, the Logitech, I don't want to move it because it's set up for the camera. But here, I'll go this one. So that's the side-by-side. -side. That's my that's my MacBook camera, which sucks. If you have a MacBook Air, your camera that's in your, in your MacBook Air is actually better than the one that they put in the MacBook Pro, which makes no sense to me because it's a $1,000 price difference usually. Um, that one there is is the Sony. Uh, oh, but Michelle, put put the model of the Sony you just bought, MVX something or other. That's the newer version. Um, so lenses, I just use the standard lens that comes in the with the camera. It's a sixteen millimeter. I feel like it's good enough. Um, but again, it depends on your setup. If you don't have a lot of space, maybe you need to go ultra wide angle. But let me. I'm gonna go back to the behind the scenes. This camera here, I'm going to go up closer to it. This is a $30 uh, HD webcam that I bought just because it was 30 bucks on sale. I was like, for 30 bucks, who cares? I'll throw it away if it's not any good. I think it's still better, right? Check it out. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How are you? I think it's still better than the MacBook, right? And then the, this other camera that you see picture in picture is, uh, is the Sony. And then if I go back over to the whiteboard, you're going to see the Logitech C920. I mean, this isn't a bad camera for the money. Can you hear me? Yeah, you, I mean, I got to talk louder. It's not a bad camera for the money. So when I absolutely can't, when I absolutely can't travel uh, with all, because you can't travel, with, especially I'm not going to travel with a DSLR camera. Um, but the Logitech C920 is the one I travel with. Uh, the Brio is also also a good model, but I mean that they're 80 bucks, 90 bucks, I think they're at now, and it's pretty decent. Autofocus, but don't don't buy a webcam based on the fact that there's a there's the mic built in because you already heard the mic. That sucks. Uh, what I would also do though 
is not spend a thousand dollars on some of these cameras. Like some of you are going away. You're like, oh my gosh, I got this P pan tilt zoom one. It's a thousand bucks and it's auto focuses on me. And it's like, do you need that? You don't really need that. And the autofocus stuff where it follows you, that stuff's not a hundred percent. I mean, I walk and talk and I'm pretty fast sometimes when I'm walking and talking. So it's a little bit more challenging for it to follow me. If you just, you know, maybe it's better, but I mean, it, will that provide like a cool effect? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Let's see what other questions we have here. Oh, the A7C. Um, oh, we got Lisa Bats. Happy Friday from Nebraska. Yeah. VMix for Windows and Ecamm Live for, for my MacBook people. All right. Do we have any other questions? I mean, I don't want to keep this too long, but I feel like it's important to talk about this, talk about the setup, talk about everything that we do because just having the, oh, this is what I'll do. The last thing, last thing behind the scenes. You see this bad boy here. Okay. This is one of my favorite things. I will travel with this because it's that important. I've, I've Here's an example of something that I learned online that I brought to in person, right? So like, oh, we want to get somebody's attention. Right? I could do that in person, but I also do it online. If I want to, hold on, I got to adjust this. The thing bothers me. Okay. <laughs> you guys will understand what I'm talking about someday. Okay, so um, you see, so in here I have all these sound effects. I have the air horn. I have, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I got the excited applause. Oh, stop it, you guys. I got crowd cheering. Wait, wait, wait. Drum roll, please. The winner of our contest is you. I ask a question, nobody answers. I have a surprise for you. Surprise! You know it. Guess what? You won. I'm so happy. Yippee! And you're freaking awesome. Awesome! Okay. I could even take like short sound bites. All my life. Been grinding all my life. Super short when it comes to music, like Savage here. I'm a savage, yeah. I can do that. Anything more, I'm going to get copyright. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> Who's that coming down the hallway? Okay, so I got all these sound effects. I got it queued up here on the board, but then also, ready, um, I have different scenes. So if I go to the first scene, boom, see that? So when you're talking about a smooth transition, it's like, okay, now I'm going to go to a shared screen. Boom, there's my restream. Come back over here. Now I'm going to go to... Uh, interview. If I'm, I had a guest today, I have this set up already. Oh, hello, everybody. Today we are here with Loretta A. Stevens. Okay. If I want the guests by themselves. Tracy, the safety lady. Look, you got a shout out, girl. That was there from when we did our, our live stream. And then if I want to do interview shared screen, check this out. Boom. Go back to the whiteboard. Back to the behind the scenes. So all of those, those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scenes are already planned on my stream deck. So I can I can stay here and and maintain eye contact with you guys. I'm like, hey everybody, how are you? Let's go main screen. Oh, that's excellent. And you know what else? We're gonna come back to behind the scenes. You ready? Three, two, one. That's that's where I felt the big difference. The problem with zoom and all the things when you share a screen it's like can you guys can you guys see my screen i'm doing a powerpoint can you see the powerpoint everybody see it all of that affects your flow anything that you're going to do when you're presenting when you're speaking when you're talking to a client anytime you have to pause and ask a question that doesn't have to do with what you're talking about it's going to affect your flow and so that was the answer for me and boy do i love it
Okay, so I'm gonna come back over here to the single overlay, what I would call that, and then ask if there's any other final questions. Uh, so we have, oh, Lisa Betts doing some screenshots, thanks. What, you don't, Michelle, you don't like the, you don't like the air horn either? <laughs> you should not tell me that. Um, I do have a, I'll post a video in the comments of, of my backdrop. My green screen is, it's the entire wall. So it's nine feet tall, it's 12 feet wide. And then on the floor is uh, three feet of green screen as well on the carpet, because depending on where your camera is, you have a downward angle. And depending on how far you are, you want to make sure that you're not getting any of the ceiling. Um, I know my buddy Pierre, he has some on the ceiling as well. So that depending on where his camera's located, uh, he doesn't have to um, zoom in on himself. Okay, let's see what else. Um, short music. Yeah, Sylvia, super short, like less than five seconds. It used to be 15 seconds. You won't get copyright. And here's the big difference, right? Facebook will mute your entire video. So will Instagram will remove it without questions, even if it's super short. They make mistakes sometimes, and they're like, sorry for your luck, try again. Uh, YouTube will allow it. Like I, If you go to my YouTube channel right now, youtube.com slash jmanspeaks, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for to be notified. Shameless plug. Uh, but if you go to the, my YouTube channel, you'll see I just uploaded one uh, that we did. It's a portion of a session we did in Georgia. It's called Special Delivery. But I have the song in the background because the song is what it's all about. Um, it's called Damn It Feels Good to Be Me. It's like um, Andy Grammer. Great song. Check it out. You'll love it too. But without the song, the 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 video sucks. It has no purpose. I might as well delete it. And so when I upload it to Face or to YouTube, they they allow it. They catch it. They say we have a copyright. Um, you know, you can still keep it. But any uh, any money that's made from the video will go to the copyright owner. Fine. I don't have a big enough following there. I'm making any money. If I have, you know, if I had 20, 30,000, 100,000 followers, that'd be a different story. Maybe you can help me get there and then we can talk about it then. Okay. So that's it. Um, let's see if I got any other questions. Delete that key. Okay. I'm going to hit this air horn one more time because some of you don't like it and I love it. All right. Uh, let's see what song we're going to go out to. And all of this, oh, here's the last, your last tip. All of my sound effects and music that you hear, especially in the countdown and that, is copyright free. And that comes from Epidemic Sounds. Okay, Epidemic Sounds. Epidemic Sounds. So this one's called Still Ballin'. Oh yeah. It's by an artist called Amber Spill. Oh. We still ballin', everybody is on Cause we're doing video and we will never stop All the hits will drop and we'll keep drinking coffee Cause you know that I can't rhyme with coffee So I'll keep on going and talking as we go I love you guys and thanks for tuning in to the really good show See you next Friday or later today I